Today we're hiking the Aztec Butte. It's a moderate trail. That's something I wanted. Now that Chloe's older, she's taken on a whole life of her own, <laughs> refusing to be held and wanting to hike. This area is so remote. There's three main areas of this park and Canyonland, the island, is probably the only place, no, it is the only place where you can get to it. And we weren't quite really sure what to expect or what we wanted to do to get out of this. As soon as we found out that there were canyons and rivers and all that kind of cool stuff, there's a lot to do here. And we're just getting a short taste of it right now. The sand here is really smooth. It's almost like a sandbox at the beach. We tend to stop now and then with little kids, even though it's a moderate trail to go see these. This trail is safe and intended for little kids. Definitely if you're coming to the area, this is a trail that you'll want to take part in. This hike is generally pretty easy until you get to the very end. And then it's kind of like a straight hill up. So now where we're supposed to go. It's a huge overlook. So I had to follow the, the stacks of rocks and we did that. <laughs> Made it all the way up here. Totally out of breath. But uh, I don't think this is it. It's kind of remote. And if you're not looking for the stacks of rocks, you can easily miss them. So we took a wrong trail. It's actually straight up that way. And we found the rocks. So where Kiara is going, like that's actually where it is. So we have to keep our eyes open. So with the weight distribution, Andrew and I have switched backpacks. Um, a little bit better with, with studying up hills. So he's gonna take care of Carolina on this hill. It's, it's pretty steep, the last part of this trek up but the overall hike is not that long. So hopefully we'll get there soon. <laughs> the kids are crawling <laughs> and we're headed up. It's, it's a big, huge boulder actually, but we're going from rock formation to rock formation. We took a wrong turn, again. We're hiking up this huge hill. I was kind of starting to wonder why people would climb up this huge mountain if they were building their, their houses in the side of it, how they could climb up it every day. Well, no, this is a view. So if you want to make it up there, there's a panoramic 360 degree view up there, we've been told, but otherwise, you can get your shot at the halfway point here, make your way back down to see the Native American houses at the other lower peak. So we made it to the top of this location called the Granary, which is the lower of the two peaks here on this Aztec Butte Trail. And the views are just stunning. The Pueblo Pantry down the side of the cliff itself. Either you or I are going, I gotta take Chloe off this pack if I'm going. It is a direct route down that's hugging the mountain. It's not houses, it's like a pantry where they store and some food. So the look along the sides of the mountain itself, so that's what we're doing. We're hugging the mountainside and looking right now. There it is! Wow, hidden. You see it? You can go, you can go on inside. Be careful when you go inside, okay? So these were used primarily for storing food. They're super small. Maybe you could go in there to sleep at night, possibly, but they say specifically on the signs of the National Park that they were used for storing grains and food. And it's a smart place. I mean, it's kept out of the rain, potential rain. It looks as though there's a gully down below where water could 
gush in a flash flood. So it's out of that area. And then also it's protected by the ledge of the mountain itself. Honestly, if, if it were me, I could sleep here. It looks as though it's big enough inside where you could fit inside and lay straight. Like it honestly looks as though you could sleep in there, but specifically they say it's for food. The views straight down. You're hiking down this little cliff, hugging the side, hoping that you don't fall. <laughs> it's a really cool little area though. So despite how it says uh, easy or moderate, you are gonna be going up a lot of hills. You're gonna be rock climbing. This is not a uh, an easy stroll. This is definitely rock climbing all throughout, but it's worth it. Despite how much care they've taken for making sure this particular path is well laid out, there is no barrier. So when you get here, you do have to be careful that you're not taking a plunge down. The views are definitely worth the short trek from the road down on up. I definitely recommend taking the trail on up. It's very easy not even moderate very easy truck up you've got a couple switchbacks on the way up to the plateau when you hit the arch though be very careful got a steep steep cliff drop and that arch is part of that cliff drop kind of makes up the foundation for the mountainside it's stunning it's definitely worth the picture but you're gonna want to be careful It's impressive, but I have to wonder what the arch looks like from the other side looking up. It's sunset and we're driving down the windows through this amazing area. Red rocks, the lights, it's incredible. when you get off the parking lot there's the main trail or the primitive trail kids wanted to walk on the primitive trail because they like the sand they like to trace their fingers in the sand and it's just doing something a little bit different which we like <laughs> dirt rock beaten path stuff where you don't see too many people out on the trails in one go just because it gives a chance for the kids a little bit to just run free and enjoy themselves and explore we found some little cute little cubby hole caves and nothing nothing too dangerous all around but the kids just like to climb on the rocks and it makes it feel like less more like hiking and more like just having fun The whole area is just one big playground for them to run, jump, play, and have a great time. Yeah, look at you. Oh my gosh, honey. So what this primitive trail does is really takes you on a cool sort of backup into the windows. 
and uh, you know everybody else will strike you up and look through them. You get to actually have this secret path going around back, and it takes you to the secret look up onto the window. So you actually, when you turn around the corner, you're coming up on them from below. They call it a window. That's the window. That's the window. So the ascent up to the windows from the backside is a little bit technical. It's just a little bit of a steep uh, bit of bouldering up here. It's a little bit technical. Watch your footing. If you could slip, Caroline is on all fours there. And I'm gonna take it up. I'm usually the one going up all the steep hills and heights. But Chloe and I are sticking down on the bottom side to take a picture of them um, through the, <laughs> the arches. Carol Chloe is ready to just jump up there with them. Made up uh, the left window from the back. Now we've got this trail over to the right window. At the end of the day, when those of you little kids you know it's tough as nails to get your kids out. Earlier in the day, they always want to do something else. They don't want to go hiking. They don't want to do this or that. But once they're actually doing it, they're having fun. And of course, now that the sun's going down and it's the end of the day, she's just like, I want to keep hiking. So of course, I got to run to keep up with her. So we found a Harry Potter stick. Hold it still. Looks like a wand. Final scramble up here. Take it to the top. successful day hiking and arches. I'm getting in the car. <laughs> 